Hey, welcome back. You are at Mobility Wad. We are gonna do a quick, give you an idea about a fantastic way to recover your back after 17.1. So if you're doing the open, and I know you did, how'd your back feel? Terrible the next day. Ter it's so weird. I saw, we've seen this combination before. Anytime we have to open up the hip violently, like a heavy deadlift with a box jump, it turns out to be a back baker. And if you see, there was a lot of broken rainbow you know, and the reason is that dumbbell requires such good range of motion, and as we fatigue, you're like, you know what, I've got it. I'll just use my other spines, my other hips. <laughs> so we're going to show you an easy way to do this. And if you like this idea, come join us at mobilitywad.com. We do a daily follow-along video, 10 or 15 minutes of follow-along self-care love. It's pretty awesome. And, and recently, we have upped our game because we're coming up with even worse ideas. They're so good, so good. So here's what we're going to do today. We've got our local superstar coach here at TJ's Gym, Zoe, uh, who is going to, and you did you don't have to say your score, but it was pretty good. It was decent. We'll it see. Was good. I don't know yet. It was we'll under Regional athlete. All right, here we go. So here's what we're gonna do. You need a heavy ball and a lacrosse ball. We've got the super novito, but some kind of medicine ball novito. And what we're gonna do here, go and join us, is that you're gonna stick this. I'll tell you, lay yourself real quick. See? This way? It doesn't matter. What I want people to understand is that a lot of the musculature that got cooked right here is the, the sort of big erectors that are trying to stabilize. If you look at the videos of people hinging over, you're gonna see what we call the back fins come out, right? There's a lot of additional mass in this area that's trying to protect that lumbar where people are hinging. So from the bottom of the rib cage to the top of the pelvis, we're really gonna try to clean up this big erector mass called the quadratus lumborum. So we're capturing the other soft tissues around the trunk. We're gonna get the, the connective tissue of that, uh, that thoracal dorsal fascia. But we're really trying to recover this bad boy. And look, this thing attached directly to your back. And strangely enough on you, it feels like a bone today. So that's what we're gonna go after. So we're gonna start. You're gonna take the ball on one side and we're gonna work from the bottom of the rib cage to the top of the pelvis, and then we're gonna make a ball sandwich. So flip on your back here, and get set up. So that this ball is gonna be right on your stomach, on that thing. And what's nice about this, is it puts the back into a pretty safe position, and then you can pin without having to work. You don't have to be overly arched, but just enough. You feeling that ball over the other ball? Yeah. What's in the middle? U, right? So you're making a U sandwich here. And what the key here now is to make sure you can breathe all the way in and all the way out. So our test is, show me, you can move as much air as you can. Show me. No problem, right? Get to the bottom of your breath. Oh, look, you saw the flinch. She flinched. That's where her brain went on fire. So I'm trying to make sure that we have full tidal volume, full excursion, all the way in. And impress with how much air you can move out. Bottom, you're still holding, and you see that she was like, save her a little bit. Just like, you know, you don't save anything for the swim back, bro. This is the open, all right? So now, if I find that, move it down, knock, take a couple breaths. If I find I can't take a breath here, here's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna take a big breath, I'm gonna contract, hold for four seconds, and then exhale for eight slowly, slowly. You see how that lets you sneak in there a little better? Yeah. So the, the test, full breath in, full breath out, no problem, move on. The solution, take a big breath as you can, contracting the ball, exhale for eight. You've got to tell your nervous system that you're not going to do something meaty and dumb like that for at least another week, all right? So here is our quick 17.1 recap. Take care of your back. This is a beautiful way to relax. Recover those erectors because it turns out I think you're going to use them for the next workout, eh? No. Probably. Oh, hopefully. hopefully not. See you guys tomorrow. <laughs>